Kia ora whanau. We're going to build a 250-ish meter long wire antenna. It's three full wavelengths on 80 meters, and it's going to be portable. <laughs> Russ, Jim, and myself are having a crack at building a ridiculous antenna for field day, which is next weekend. We're going to be looking for a whole bunch of ZL contacts and a few VKs here and there, just for a bit of fun. It's a ridiculous size antenna. We're going to see if it works. We're going to finish building it today. We're going to take it up top of a little local Sota Hill, which is on private land, which we've got access to, which is awesome. We're going to see if it works, finish it, put it up, see how it goes. If it works fantastic, then we'll take it all back down because we have to assemble it on the day next weekend. So stick around. We'll have a crack at that and we'll see how it goes. Here it is. Here's our 250, 260 meters of high tensile this, wire. This, um... yeah. On our wire, Jenny. And we're going to unwind her all the way over this gully to the other side of the, uh, well, technically we're on a hill, but we're going to call it a mountain. We're going to call it a mountain. It is a mountain. It's over. Thank you. I appreciate your optimism. No, mountains are anything over a thousand, three thousand feet. We've lost our mallet. I found it. We're leaving stuff everywhere. Bloody images. There's Jim in the middle, and there's Russ on the other side of the valley, Kelly thing. That was awesome. So we've just run all the wire out over this big gully. Now we're going to head over to the other side, chuck some wire tires in, do something temporary. We're going to put tension on this wire, hook it up on both ends, see if it works. All right, so we're going to stick a post up here, a temporary post. Hey. Yeah. And we're going to string our antenna way back to the high point over there. We've just carried this guy over. 20 feet. It was very heavy, wasn't it? it was, we worked really hard. We're not tired at all. We've got uh, able workers. Yeah, we've got Jim and Russ over there. They took most of the load. They didn't complain at all as we carried it about. 300 meters, we'll call it 400 meters. We're chilled as 400 meters. meters. It was 500 meters we carried that pole over the most undulating terrain you've ever seen. All right, we'll figure out what step two is. More carrying stuff. These are the Waratahs for one end. All right, here it is. Here's the plan. Four Waratahs, 20 foot of pipe, <laughs> and a whole bunch of wire sitting down on the deck in that gully. Now we're just going to do this again. This setup has more Waratahs than uh, your average average portable antenna. Because keep in mind, what we're building here is portable, isn't it, boys? This is a portable antenna. So uh, keep that in mind. Every, every piece is portable here by us. That's right. Taking it down and putting it back up is going to be a pain in the butt for next weekend, but at least we know it kind of works. How's it going? Good. We just finished putting up our second pole for our antenna. And now we can string this wire across the gully. Who else is with you? I've got Russ with me and I've got Jim. Yeah, they're both boys. <laughs> All right. We got one end erect and tied down. We got another one here. We're going to leave it here. We're going to finish the antenna up probably tomorrow or day after next, next couple of days. There's no feed, uh, feed point into it yet. But, uh, geez, there is so much wire out there. I don't know if you can see it. it just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's going to be awesome. All right. That's us for today. Thanks for hanging out.